CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220 1101, Practice Exam. Questions 181 through 185. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So, are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 181. In a SOHO environment, which networking device is typically required to be positioned between the ISP and the LAN to facilitate connectivity? The answer is C, router. The router acts as the central point that connects the local area network in a small office home office environment to the internet service provider. Routers are designed to manage and direct traffic between different networks, which in this case involves receiving data from the ISB and distributing it to various devices within the LAN. Question 182. A technician is setting up a workstation with the requirement that its hard drive be encrypted. To ensure this setup is successful, what feature must the technician confirm is activated on the workstation? The answer is C, TPM. The Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, is a specialized security hardware component that provides cryptographic functions including the secure generation and storage of encryption keys. When setting up a hard drive encryption on a workstation, the TPM is crucial as it securely stores the encryption keys needed to encrypt and decrypt the drive. This makes the encryption process more secure and less vulnerable to tampering or hacking. Question 183. A server equipped with three hard drives displayed an error message suggesting its array was operating in a compromised state, yet the data remained accessible. Based on the scenario, which RAID setup is most likely in use? The answer is C, RAID 5. RAID 5 is a configuration that uses striping with parity allowing the system to continue operating in a degraded mode if one drive fails. In a RAID 5 setup, data and parity information are distributed across all the drives. This means that if one drive goes down, the data can still be accessed and reconstructed from the remaining drives using the parity information. The scenario describes a system with three drives where data remains accessible despite an error indicating a degraded array which aligns with how RAID 5 functions. Question 184. A technician is assembling a custom computer featuring an ITX-sized motherboard and needing a RAID 5 setup, with all drives sharing the same connection type. Considering these specifications, which type of drive connection is the technician most likely to select for this build? The answer is D, SATA. SATA is the most likely choice for this custom computer build because it is widely compatible with various motherboard sizes, including the ITX form factor, and is commonly used for RAID configurations like RAID 5. SATA drives are well suited for RAID 5 due to their balance of performance, capacity, and cost effectiveness. Additionally, the inclusion of multiple SATA interfaces is fairly standard with most ITX motherboards. Question 185. When performing an upgrade of the PSU in a gaming computer, what is the first step a technician should take? The answer is C. Check that the new PSU has a sufficient wattage rate. Checking that the new power supply unit, or PSU, has a sufficient wattage rating is the first step in upgrading a gaming computer's PSU because the power supply needs to meet the energy demands of all the computer's components, especially in a gaming PC, which typically has high-performance parts. These components draw significant power, and the PSU must provide enough wattage to support them reliably. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? 
Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.